Carbon filters work by using activated carbon to remove contaminants, impurities, and odors from water through a process called absorption. In this process, contaminants adhere to the surface of the activated carbon as water passes through the filter. The key to carbon filters is the activated carbon, which is treated to have highly porous surface area. One gram of activated carbon can have a surface area of over 32,000 square feet, which is about the size of seven basketball courts. As water flows through the filter, contaminants like chlorine, VOCs, pesticides, and other chemicals bond to the surface of the carbon particle. This process is called absorption, which differs from absorption with a B because the pollutants adhere to the surface rather than being absorbed into the material. In addition to removing chemicals, carbon filters can also trap larger particles like sediment, dirt, and rust, depending on how the filter is designed. Carbon filters are particularly effective at improving water quality by reducing bad odors and tastes, especially those caused by chlorine, sulfur compounds, or organic materials. Granular activated carbon filters use loose granulars of carbon. They're effective for general chemical and chlorine removal, but may allow small contaminants to pass through due to the larger size of the granules, making them less effective than fine filtration. Carbon block filters compress carbon to a solid block, which forces water to pass through more slowly and increases the contact time. This makes them more efficient at filtering smaller particles and broader range of contaminants, including heavy metals. Catalytic carbon filters are specifically treated to target Target specific can contaminants such as chloramine, a disinfectant commonly used in municipal water systems. It's harder to remove than regular chlorine. Carbon filters are very versatile. They're effective for a wide range of contaminants, including chlorine, VOCs, and some pesticides. Carbon filters remove bad tastes and odors from water, making it more pleasant to drink. No chemicals are added during filtration, unlike other processes like chlorination, which makes it a non-toxic solution. Carbon filters are very low maintenance. Filters generally need to be replaced periodically. We tend to recommend once a year, but maintenance is straightforward. There are some limitations with carbon filters. They're not effective against all contaminants. Carbon filters are not effective for removing dissolved salts, minerals, or bacteria and viruses. For those, other filtration methods like reverse osmosis, like the system I have here, or UV purification are needed. Over time, the pores of the activated carbon will fill up with contaminants, reducing its effectiveness and require filter replacement. Carbon filters Filters are widely used in water pitchers, refrigeration filters, air purifiers, and whole house water filtration systems due to their ability to improve taste, remove odors, and filter a range of harmful chemicals. Carbon filters, like the ones that I have here, are very common in whole house filtration systems. The RO system that we tend to sell the most of, the Hume Safe Water 75, has multiple carbon filters in it. It starts with sediment, then goes to carbon, hits carbon again before going through the membrane, and then ultimately one more carbon filter after leaving the tank. 